If you are someone who wants to thrive in homemaking, but you're feeling overwhelmed in your role, then today's video is for you. Hi homemakers, my name is Kiri with the Transformed Homemaker Society, and my mission is to help homemakers go from overstimulation and chronic stress to a peaceful and thriving home so that they can serve their families and the Lord. As someone who's been there myself as an overwhelmed homemaker and someone who has set out to help other homemakers, I completely understand the level of anxiety, overwhelm, and exhaustion that can come with trying to keep your home, raise your children, love your husband, and love the Lord. But I'm here to tell you that it doesn't have to be that way. And this is not what the Lord wants for you either. I can tell you that as someone who has really struggled in her homemaking over the years and has made an incredible transformation, all the glory be to God, that the way I run my home parent and communicate with my husband and children is highly reflective of everything I've learned until now. And that is what I want to share with you today. Now I'm going to be upfront with you. This is a big job of raising children, running a home, managing a household. We really are project managers and it's a big task. So of course there's going to be some times when it comes with overwhelm and some overstimulation. But if you are in that state much of the time, then there is a deeper issue and that can be corrected. And that's what I'm going to help you with. So today we're going to talk about the root of your overwhelm and overstimulation in your homemaking. So if this is you and you're in a constant state of overwhelm, chronic fatigue, you have various ailments all over your body that are seemingly unrelated, but actually I'm going to give you a little hint. They're totally related. Then this video is for you. So the number one reason that you're likely overwhelmed and overstimulated all the time as a homemaker is that your nervous system is imbalanced. Bear with me as I explain a little bit about how God made our brains. The limbic system is the part of the brain involved in our behavioral and emotional responses, especially when it comes to behaviors we need for survival, feeding, reproduction, caring for our young, our five or flight responses. So the limbic system impairment is when the brain is stuck in an overreaction to stress and threat mode. It is often the root cause behind why many chronic health conditions don't respond to typical and alternative treatments. Your limbic system becomes overreactive, creating stress responses as mechanisms to protect yourself. This often occurs subconsciously, so we don't even have time to think about the reaction with our rational brain. Does any of this sound familiar? I remember times when I would react to something and I think to myself afterwards, there is no way I could have exercised self-control in that moment. I had zero time to even think about how to respond. Sometimes our limbic system tries to protect ourselves from the past, like a past emotional trauma or injury or infection. The limbic system is also trying to control our future experiences. Your limbic system is just trying to protect you. However, in doing so, it often creates chronic stress responses, which have many symptoms associated, which I'll go into now. So what, what symptoms do you get with a chronic stress response or impaired limbic system? Anxiety, panic, mood swings, autoimmune diseases, brain fog, chemical, light, smell, and EMF sensitivities, difficulty with healing injuries, difficulty with pain processing, digestive issues, um, food sensitivities, immune dysregulation, like the inability to fight infection, and the list really goes on. An impaired limbic system causes autonomic nervous system dysfunction, which can cause all kinds of issues throughout the body, which seem unrelated, but are actually caused by an impaired limbic system. So this all sounds pretty scary and doom and gloom, right? <laughs> 
But I want you to know that it's not your fault and it's also not your brain's fault either. Your brain is just trying to protect you. It's actually performing its God-given role and that's really a good thing. So now all we need to do is figure out how to calm your nervous system and rewire your brain for healing and relaxation. I also want you to know that you're not alone. So many homemakers are experiencing this and finding healing from Christian brain rewiring and Satan wants nothing more than for you to think that you're experiencing this all by yourself. He's wrong. That's a lie. And so many homemakers are experiencing this. So this is why I've set out to help homemakers heal from an overloaded nervous system and this is, and the symptoms associated with it in my course, The Transformed Homemakers Society. I have a free workshop for you in the link below, which is my five-step framework for overstimulated and overworked homemakers. If this is something that you're interested in, click the button below to sign up for your spot in this free workshop. So I was in this exact situation of limbic system impairment, and I had too many ailments to count, and I went on a multiple year-long journey to healing, and God transformed me from dreading each day to jumping out of bed with excitement for the day. I went from constant ailments and stress to feeling healthy and vibrant most of the time. So the number one strategy that I'm going to give you today to help you heal your nervous system is to practice visualization. Now, I want to be clear that my testimony is rooted in coming out of the new age and finding Christ. So when I say visualization, I do not mean some weird sort of manifestation kind of way. What I mean is putting your brain in a positive place using a past or future event to calm down your nervous system response and to act like a salve for your brain, which will calm your nervous system. Visualization can be a great tool for not only calming your nervous system, as I said before, but it can also be a tool that you use for motivation in your homemaking. You can also use it to help you deal with past trauma traumatic events or working on what I call old destructive patterns of behavior or ODP in order to wire different responses, more healthy responses into your brain. A really important concept that I'd like to communicate with you, and this is a hard one, is that your children are feeling it as well and they're picking up on the tension that you have from this overstimulation and overwhelm. And these symptoms and triggers that you're feeling, they can all pick up on that. And I can tell you from experience that when I put in the work to heal my brain and my body, the whole tone of my home changed from tense, rushed, and frantic to calm, peaceful, and fun. So no matter how hard you try to hide these feelings that you're experiencing, your children are so sensitive and receptive. And that's actually the way that they perceive the world is through their emotions and they are picking up on your overwhelm. The worst case scenario is that they take on those feelings themselves. So if you don't want this cycle to continue, and I know that you don't, and if you want to create generational change, then it's important that you work on yourself first. I promise you, if you put in the work that is required to heal yourself and your brain, it's going to have a transformational impact on your home, your relationships with your family and friends, and really everything in your life will just be better. <laughs> so my homemaker homework for you is to begin a visualization practice today. It can be a past or future positive event, and all that you do is imagine it in your mind and really gush over the feelings surrounded by that event. Do this anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, and then after you're done, notice how your body feels completely different and so much more relaxed. 
In my course, The Transformed Homemaker Society, I go into much more detail about visualization, how to visualize, what to visualize, when to visualize. I also give you an entire Christian brain rewiring formula, which uses many other techniques to rewire your brain for health, happiness, and a closeness with Christ. So if this is something that you feel would be a blessing to you, I hope that you consider taking my free workshop using the link below. It's my five step framework for overwhelmed and overworked homemakers. Just click the link in the description below to sign up for your spot and I'll see you there.